Good morning everybody, this is going to be another quick and barely edited video because YouTube don't reward good editing. Enough about my crying and whining. Anyway, melamine boxes are basically the staple of this industry and uh, a drawer box is a box within a box, so it's basically a little cabinet. Now this is a quick tip on how I make these um, to get a really accurate, strong and fast drawer made up specifically for use with plum or grass under mount runners. In those systems, your drawer bottom has to be spaced up 12 millimeters or half an inch, about 13 millimeters from your drawer sides for the under mount runners to, to engage with underneath. And there is a very simple way of doing that with the domino without any measurements. So the first thing I do in this process is I lay them all out. I've got my drawer bottoms, my sides, my backs, and my fronts. So my joinery method is a combination of pocket screws and dominoes. The dominoes do all the work, the pocket screws act as clamps. You can forego the pocket screws and just use clamps if you want your life to be frustrating, difficult, miserable, basically repeat the same sort of pain and anguish you went through when you got that vasectomy you didn't want and your wife said you had to have. Alright, so first off we just want to mark everything out. Now, I've laid things out in the way that they're going to be built and this is the face that I'm going to be drilling into. I'm going to be drilling along here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these drawer fronts together and put them in the vise. I'm going to stop talking so that you don't hear chipmunks when I fast forward, okay? So I've got my, my lines here and I'm going to transfer them to this face. Oh, because I'm drilling into the face, I only need a mark on the edge. So that's all my drill front marked at once. Ready to drill. Now I'm also going to have dominoes here, but I don't need any marks, I'm just going to use the dominoes reference fence, whatever you want to call that thing. Okay, now for my draw sides, again I'm going to mark these all at once. But I've got to stoop down a bit to make sure I'm in, in the shot. Okay, so what I've got here is a block attached to my bench. <laughs> Could have worked that out if I didn't tell you. Anyway, um, there are three positions that we've got to set our domino to. This regular plunge method here, 20 mil depth, tight finish, 16 mil height adjustment, so that it's right in the middle of one of these 16 mil boards. And that is gonna be for all of where the side panels connect into the front panel and all the connections in the base panel. So I'm gonna drill them all that way. Then we're gonna do our next setup, which is gonna be on the end grain at, on the face grain at 16 mil depth. Then we're gonna do our last setup, which is gonna have an offset. And if you do it all that way, you become a Kaizen master and that douchebag millionaire from FastCap who does those annoying videos will be like really proud of you and then you'll have arrived in life. Oh and by the way, make sure you wear your PPE. Glasses, earmuffs, gloves, jacket, helmet, jock strap, condom. Because if you don't, and I won't, so don't follow my example, you'll get gonorrhea. These screws are so unnecessarily long.
Alright, now we're up to our third and final setup, and this is the key one. This is where we get our 12mm offset. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change from 16mm focus and change from 16mm over to 40mm, and that is a 12mm offset. We're ready to go. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing to our draw sides. We just have to make sure we drill the correct face. So I keep the CNC sticker on the inside and that tells me where I need to drill. Alright, so now we're ready for a test fit. We have our components here. two sides, our base and our front, and you can see wherever I've drilled into the face with melamine, I've gone for a wide setting, whenever I've gone directly into particle board, I have a tight setting, and uh, if you do it that way, your life is good. Okay, so that's your standard 16mm setting, it, it centers a domino on a 16mm panel. When we make the offset cut to 40mm, it increases our center distance by 12 and it gives us that spacing that we're looking for for our Blum hardware. And you can see our offset there. So we didn't have to do any measuring or any working out to get that. The Domino did it for us basically. Us, even though it's only me. I'll just pretend you're here with me. There you go, better angle for you. And now our draw front completes the connections. And our back panel just slips in there. And from the underside, our Blum hardware can now just mount straight into there. Now this um, is an inner drawer, so this drawer front here, which is a part of the carcass, is also the finished front. So our um, connectors go right up hard to it. If this was a out, uh, if this was getting a decorative drawer front on it, that would have to be cut out. And in that situation, I actually just build it to this height here because there is no need for this part in the middle and for wasting your time cutting out a notch. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching. Love you. So our pocket screws, screws are basically right next to our dominoes and all we want to achieve here, we want to put these screws in very carefully and we just want it to pull that joint tight like a clamp would. So as soon as you see that close up, we can stop. We don't need any more than that. Because we don't want to blow it out the other side. So we're using yellow type bond to wherever we've got raw timber to raw timber, such as the dominoes themselves into the particle board. And 
Whenever we're going to melamine, we use type 1 melamine adhesive. And that'll be all along this face here. We use type 1 melamine glue, like so. And that actually gives you a super strong connection. I've tested it. After 24 hours, you've got to break the wood to get it apart. And now we very gingerly put in some pocket screws because we do not want to bust out of this drawer front. And we're just looking for a bit of squeeze out. As soon as it pulls in and gives a squeeze out, we can stop screwing. That's it. A little bit of squeeze out tells me it's home and I can stop tempting fate. So that is one super strong, very seamlessly built, very square, straight and accurate draw. I guess you could do it without the dominoes, could do it without the glue, you could use normal screws out through the side, but they're a luxury that's worth having. So there's our box, all glued up, ready to go, and this is the Blum um, T65.100.02 drilling jig for Movento and Tandem. And it does your mounting holes here and it does your pin holes down the back there. So just sit it there like that. You need a 2.5mm long drill bit. Good luck finding one. it over, take it to the other side, and see how nicely they fit in there. So after seven years in business, I finally bought this. And what tipped me over to buy it for all of about 30 bucks was the fact that I had one drawer in a job, real big drawer, that just was not sitting right, no matter what I did. And it wasn't operating correctly, wasn't clicking in a place properly, it was just a dog. And after a bit of investigation, I found that I basically screwed these slightly off and it was sitting just like that, just that much. And that was it, that was enough to stuff it. So with this system, it goes in perfectly every time, you don't even need to think about it. And you also use it for your hole in the back. If you get that hole in the wrong place, you lose like a good chunk of your adjustment. Easy mate. Easy living, easy mate. There's a police operation going on at the moment, there's sirens, there's helicopters, welcome to Western Sydney. <laughs>